This video outlines in short the main aspects of the timetable functionality, which is present in both CTIS restricted workspaces. It explains its purpose, the main features, and the differences between sponsors view and authorities view. The timetable gives users an overview of the status and progress of the tasks or actions related to the assessment of a specific clinical trial application. It allows users to monitor the progress in the assessment of the clinical trial applications. The timetable functionality can be found in each clinical trial application and both authority and sponsor users can access it from the summary page. In case you are a member state user, you can view the timetable, only if your member state is one of the member states concerned. If you are a sponsor user, you can view timetables of clinical trial applications that you are involved in and you have the appropriate roles. To view the timetable, in the summary page, scroll down to the Application and Non-Substantial Modification section and click on the ID of the application. In the next screen, on the left side, you can see the various sections of the application. Click on the last one and you can view the timetable. In the timetable, you can see the phases of the evaluation of a clinical trial application. You can see the timelines of the main tasks related to the various phases of the evaluation and their due dates. You can plan your schedule accordingly. Below the notes on the blue box, on the left side of the screen, you can see the legend. It uses different colors to indicate each party's tasks, the weekends, the winter clock stops, and the present day. On the right side, you can use various filters and filter in the listed tasks. The first filter allows you to select a specific part in the evaluation process. Select a value and only that task or phase appears on the timetable. The second filter is a time filter that allows you to get a monthly, weekly or daily view. The two checkboxes below refer to the RFIs and their validation and assessment phases. If you check them in, the timetable expands to include the relevant tasks in the timetable. The standard deadlines will be extended. In the example, see how the two filters affect the projected due date of submitting the Part 2 conclusion. Before the use of the validation phase RFI, the due date is on the 20th of April. Tick them both in and the deadlines will be extended. The projected due date changes to the 2nd of August. On the left side of the timetable, you can use the arrows to expand or collapse the tasks of each of the main phases. In the bottom of the screen, four buttons allow you to download the timetable, to include all the tasks in the same view, to zoom in or zoom out in the timeline respectively. Once you click on the download button, you retrieve a CSV file that summarizes the information found in the timetable, such as the timeline of each task and the actor. Authority and sponsors users might have a slightly different visibility to the details represented in the timetable. Authority users view both soft and hard tasks, while sponsor users view only the hard tasks. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the timetable and its features, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.